a very good day to all our viewers and thank you for tuning in to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. We are thrilled to have you here and if you are keen to expand your knowledge by accessing our free news, please don't forget to subscribe. Your support is deeply appreciated by all of us at Polymer Update. Let us begin. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Brittany White. It is Friday, May 12. Let's start with energy news. Crude oil prices declined on Thursday owing to a strengthening U.S. dollar. Brent crude prices fell by $1.43 settling at $74.98 per barrel. While WTI futures decreased by $1.69 settling at $70.87 per barrel. On Thursday, Open spec naphtha prices fell by $4 per metric ton at the $606 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. On Thursday in Asia, ethylene and propylene prices were assessed as stable. Are you looking to enhance your knowledge of polymer materials and their use in the automotive industry? Look no further! Polymer Update Academy and MIT Oring Abad have partnered to bring you a joint certification program featuring a masterclass workshop on polymers in automotive applications, led by Professor Prashant Gupta, a distinguished polymer technologist. Throughout this workshop, you'll learn about the mechanical, thermal, and chemical properties of polymer materials, their synthesis and properties, and their use in various automotive applications. You'll also have the opportunity to gain a joint certification from Polymer Update Academy and MIT Oringabad, which will enhance your career prospects and validate your expertise in this field. Don't miss this chance to expand your knowledge and earn a valuable certification. For additional information, please check the details in the description box. Before we move on to the weekly market updates for polypropylene and polyvinyl chloride in Europe and the US for today please click on the bell icon to subscribe to our free news channel and if you like today's video please remember to like this video by giving us a thumbs up. It motivates us to continue to bring you this free informative news service on a daily basis. Back to the weekly market updates for polypropylene and polyvinyl chloride in Europe and the US. Polypropylene in the US, this week, PP export prices tumbled in the U.S. and witnessed a drop in Latin America. FAS Houston PP copolymer prices were assessed at the $1,060 to $1,080 per metric ton FAS Houston levels while PP homopolymer prices were assessed at the $995 to $1,015 per metric ton levels, both plunged by $130 per metric ton from the previous week. CFR Brazil prices of PP copolymer were assessed at the $1,090 to $1,130 per metric ton levels, a week-on-week -week decrease of $20 per metric ton. CFR Brazil prices of PP copolymer were assessed at $1,140 to $1,180 per metric ton, a fall of $30 per metric ton from last week. CFR West Coast South America prices of PP copolymer were assessed at the $1,120 to $1,160 per metric ton levels, a week-on-week -week decline of $10 per metric ton. CFR West Coast South America prices of PP copolymer were assessed at $1,160 to $1,190 per metric ton, a drop of $30 per metric ton the previous week. Polyvinyl chloride in the U.S. This week, PVC export prices quoted flat in the United States. Polypropylene in Europe. This week, PP spot prices dropped in Europe. Polyvinyl chloride in Europe. This week, PVC prices rolled over in Europe. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video on Monday to know more. This is Polymer Update with me, Brittany White from Polymer Updates Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.